Well, figure to do a quick uh, shop update here. It's been a while. So this is uh, this is it right here, all of its glory. There's the bench, got printer, sticker machine, speakers, and you know computers hanged upside down. Pictures, shit like that. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. See, got the uh, lab coat. Gotta have that. This is the uh, beat on area. I've been doing some U joints the last couple days here. Uh, let's see what do we got here. Jeep stuff. Putting a Jeep motor back together at home. Some shit I'm taking taking back to the house. Got a new drain pan finally. Toolbox is more of a storage area. More Jeep shit. Oh, low bucket. Nothing spectacular about that. Get two rolling carts. So when I put a magnet thing on it, a glove holder and a little shelf. I don't remember where I got that from. These these things are awesome. Make or break your day, really. Got uh, some stairs for climbing up for working on the trucks and shit like that. See, here's the uh, tool room. We got the uh, propane cooker. I percolate my coffee in the morning. Paper towels. We got a Fucking whatever that thing that thing is, microwave. And then here we got nuts and bolts and shit. More nuts and bolts and shit. More cooking shit. This is the emergency stockpile of paper towels and toilet paper. So when the uh, hourly guys spend too much time in the bathroom, you know. Fridge, overflow coolant shit, jack stands, more fluids, battery charger, torch, cherry picker, welder. Um, those are just kits up, up there. This one is the eBay coolant pressure tester kit that sucks ass. So we got the slide hammer stuff. So we got all the uh, Mopar Cummins. Mopar actual tools for Cummins ball joints. We got a bunch of Ford tools because my cellmate is a Ford guy, which, you know, I keep telling him he needs a fucking CAT scan because there's something wrong with him patriotic duty I'll take a look at the, uh, the box here this is a Cornwell custom this one came with a toolbox it was kind of a package deal I ended up buying it from a guy that left it for Vegas couldn't take it so this is just a bunch of like random shit there so we got inverted torques normal torques hex which I hardly ever use and then, uh, let's see. So, I'm the guy that will buy one tool out of a set, and then another tool out of a set, and then another tool out of a set, and then I'll buy the whole set, and then take the rest of the stuff home. So, some of this is kind of like pieces of old sets. This is the world's best spark plug socket right here. Keeps you from snapping, cracking plugs. It's a fap off. Let's see, what do we got? got the Chrysler oil. Pressure sender adapter. Uh, you know, just some some shit. We got some shit over here. And we got uh, super long screwdriver, super long hose picks, magnetic tray. See, this this was one of my very first tools I ever bought. I use this for transmission pans because I just don't care about getting fluid all over it. Let's see. So this set right here is Matco, and I actually have the whole rest of the set. All the way from 4 all the way up to 15. The rest of that is home because I hardly ever used it and I needed some shit for home. This 3 8 wobblies, these actually came as a package with these Matco ones. But Matco dealer locally was kind of shady at best, basically. So, well, where'd that come from? We don't use those. So I ended up trading the Matco ones for Fapoffs. These are Tecton. Hardly ever use these either. These 3 8 deeps are step off. And then this whole half inch set here, which some of them are over here and one of them's over there, but these are all Matco. So what do we got here? Blue power, so that's cornhole. 
and then we got some more tech and stuff. This whole set right here was 40 bucks. And I'd be like, oh, you like that more TV? Like, dude, for 40 bucks, I'll just buy another one. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Some of these are 12s. These are all half inch deeps and shallows. We got a 30. We got a 32, 34, 36. And then some other fucking sizes. We got a Dana 44 outer. Uh, let's see. 3 8 deep shallow. More 3 8 shit. These are those new snap on sockets that are actually exactly the diameter they're supposed to be instead of being like this be like a 16.1 this is actually a 16 so if you get a fastener that's kind of rounded out it actually grabs it pretty well quarter inch stuff these are all craftsmen these are snap offs these are or these are gear wrench actually Millie walk a 12 bolt shit we got the half and the quarter we also have the high powered one this is what I call the uh, quick response interior kit. This was from when I used to work for Dodge and did a bunch of recalls. So it's a magnet tray that's just got a bunch of quarter inch stuff on it. It's organized so you don't have to keep going back and forth. Everything I need to do, radios and basic interior stuff all right here. And then we got this drawer which just has, you know, a bunch of fucking shit in it. Got some uh, punches, files. Chisel paint. We got the uh, GM style 134 high side removal installer. Some burrs. More AC stuff here. Step bits. Petcock tool. And, you know, just more overflow crap. Stethoscope. Double hinge hemostats. There's probably three or four of those in here. Gotta have one of these. And another one, battery powered, but lock pick kit. Uh, pipe dope, a lighter, various types of Loctite, various sealants. This is all shit from when I worked at Honda that I should probably throw away because I'll never ever use again. We've got some brushes stuff. These are kind of cool. They got a quarter inch drive on them, so you can put them in your little DeWalt or whatever and run them. See, these actually used to be platinum brand, but uh, there's no platinum distributors around, so I ended up having in to take those home and buy some new ones that actually have a warranty. These ones are Cornwell, but they're all made by the same Easy Red. They're all made by the same Chinese, eight-year-old Chinese kids. Here's some bigger wrenches here. These are old-school Craftsman reversible ratchets. Uh, I got some extra shit here. See, I got a 27. There should be a 32. Oh, that is a 32. Got these little ones. You know, some little stubbies. So you got 24, 22, and 21. I got flank drive. This is the flank drive plus stuff. It's got the ridges on there to make it grab easier. These are from back in the Dodge days. These things are pretty cool. They're uh, extensions for your wrenches. They can you know, extend a extend a wrench or you know whatever. Uh, let's see, these are more flint drive pluses. These are my go-to wrench. They're hard, so you know something like you know these older Craftsman ones. Yeah, sure they work. They work good for grandpa or your weekend warrior in the in the garage when you're doing something. But after a while, your wrenches they actually stretch out. These ones don't. They don't stretch out. So if you got a fastener that's slightly damaged or rounded out, then you know, you're not going to reach for a shit wrench. These are jiffy tights for oil coolers and shit. And we got some Chinese wrenches here. Like a six. I don't even know why I have a six. Why would I have a six? I don't know. And then uh, I lost some of these over the years. 17, 18, and 19 I lost. So I had to buy a gear wrench one. Which is stupid because it doesn't reverse and it's straight. And then these blue point ones are... You know, I mean, I don't know. They're... They're okay. These old Craftsman ones are way better. Hit 23. I mean, really, when are you going to use that? I bought this at Sears the other day because it was $3. Sears is going out of... Well, $4. Sears is going out of business, so they were selling everything for cheap. Uh, um, yeah, so we've got uh, extensions, hose picks, seal removers, and shit like that. 
various punches. This is actually a pretty cool little tool here, if I could find the uh, other piece to it, which is sitting right here. So it's like a low pro wrench thing. This actually works really well with these right here. These are a, God damn it. Come on. These are like Torx, but they're cut off. They're really small. So if you're doing like a mixed motor and a Chrysler LX car, Charger Challenger or something, you have to get that up in there and get that thing loose. That's kind of the only way to do it. Brake spoon. Crow's feet. These are fap off. Let's see. Serpentine stuff. These are hose picks or o-ring picks which I bought them because I just buy stuff unnecessarily for some reason so we got some longer picks, air hammer stuff, some quarter inch standard this thing was actually pretty cool this used to attach to a, a ratchet not a ratchet but, you know like a, one of these this would go on here and it would extend your reach but it's a piece of shit and it broke Pliers, hammers. Uh, see these, these Nipex hose pliers. I got that little thingy there that helps grab. Nothing really too spectacular in here. Got some big channel locks. Got some little channel locks. These are pretty cool. They got a little hinge mechanism in there, which is a torque multiplier. Oh. This is the uh, this is the money drawer right here. This is where the magic happens. You got some uh, relay jumpers. You plug these in where the relay's supposed to go, so you can force it on. Some uh, relay tower. I don't know what they're fucking called yet. Plug them in where the relay goes, and then put the relay on that, and you can test the pins. You just got a bunch of just crap, a bunch of crap in here. This is one of those drawers where you organize it, and then as soon as you use it, everything's just blocked. This is kind of the obsolete drawer, all the air air stuff. The only thing I use in here now is the hammerhead and the air hammer. Everything else, this stuff is, you don't need it. All my battery stuff is equal or more power. I, guess I should probably just take this home. I haven't used it in years. So you got some uh, lubrication specialist stuff there. I got some uh, stud extractors. These are really good for uh, rounded off lug nuts, or if you have a lug, a locking lug nut, you lost your key for. Just pound them on. Use the wrench, pull them off. Ugh, Jesus, another one of these. This is a Home Depot. No, not Home Depot. Lowe's. This is Cobalt. Cobalt torque wrench, which I actually need to take home so I can put those heads on the Jeep. Oh, see, we got some uh, Dr. Tranny's Ask You. Oh, it's actually Lube Guard. It's uh, the knockoff version. AC oil installer shit. I uh, got some grinding cutters, caliper pusher inners, torch. Shit, just extension for my power probe. Let's see, what are these? These are uh, caliper tools. I got a pressure tester down there, which is nothing special. Uh, so you got the 60-inch uh, pry bar, and then I have a piece of PVC for my Mighty Vac hoses that go down into a little container to keep keep them straight, keep them organized. And I got a magnetic tray there, a fender cover which I haven't haven't used since 2006. No more magnetic. This, this is magnetic because this is magnetic, but test leads okay let's see we got a little netbook here which I use for programming keys some chargers heads for the Jeep which I have to go back home today and oh my god what is all this crap let's see a little handheld scanner gotta have some toms um Raytac well this is a cornhole but you know same shit this is the executive decision maker so my uh roommate over there works on Fords so I'll say like hey does Brian need a CAT scan 
Yeah, see. Let's see, I got some uh, glasses for welding. These are like at number six. Good for torching and shit like that. Band for the brake lathe, which I keep forgetting that I own. I mean, I just got a whole bunch of shit in here, like candy canes from last year, the grips for my Beretta. I mean, all kinds of just shit. There's my GoPro for some videos I need to make. Fuel line disconnectors. This is a piece of shit which I'm going to take home while I'm thinking about it because it's just garbage. Power steering puller kit. We got some uh, center punches. These are all from a Chrysler recall. Well, Dodge recall. Track bar recall. These are uh, cobalt good bits. And then here's the uh oh, uh oh box. There's some uh, carbide drill bits in here and a couple taps and shit like that. So we got long feeler gauges, more drills, more files, more taps. This is all, like this whole box is just caps for AC stuff. This is one of three boxes of O-rings. These are the fitting kits. 801, 806, 801, 807. They have the fittings and the caps. And every time you do AC work, replace your fittings every time. Uh, these are foam kits from Jeep Wrangler warranty water leaks which I don't do anymore thank god we got some black strip cock this is a butylene rubber which is used for like putting door panel uh, water deflectors back together sealing water leaks and shit so we got some ass itch cream ass itch cream glass etch cream for putting etch numbers on glass so we got more I mean just more more crap we got back in there back in your home uh, this is my, used to be my metric wrench overflow, which is all that I'm in here now. I'm taking these home. I was like, oh, I'm running out of room. I'm like, oh, I need another toolbox. I'm like, well, I don't have anything at home, really, so I'll just take all these home, you know. Dumbass. So we got some uh, thread pipe stuff. I don't even know what this is. What is that? Oh, cotter pans. Great. Some brake lines. This is it for a GM01 distributor. I ground the teeth off of the gear there so when you stab a new distributor sometimes you have to move the oil drive and using a mirror and a tooth a toothbrush. <laughs> mirror and a screwdriver is dumb so I just stick this in there and turn it so I know where the direction of the wheel is. The wheel and the, the gear. So you got a cylinder leak down test, fuel pressure, two compression testers, oil pressure tester, fuel frequency, vacuum pump, a wedge for a flaring tool, uh, more AC die, another broken ratchet, uh, some of y'all probably don't even know what these are, these are hones for wheel cylinders, because back in the day we used to rebuild wheel cylinders and master cylinders and steering racks before the uh, Chinese got involved with remanufacturing everything, so you gotta have soy sauce, oh god, Let's see, this is mostly standard stuff. Standard sockets. And I mean, shit like this. Like, why did I buy this? These are torques. Like, I'm never going to use that. It's part of a Pitman arm puller. Fuel pump ring tools for a Chrysler. Here's one for a Ford. I should probably get rid of that because I don't work on Fords anymore. My old torque wrench. Uh, valve compressor. C clamp. I don't know, I'm pulling this shit out because obvious reasons and there's a another fuel pressure tester apparently which is weird I don't know why that's in here or where that came from it's good stuff it's a distributor wrench kind of thing it's got a angle to it and also this piece comes off so you can do magic shit with that uh, let's see this is a custom modified wrench for a Chrysler LX car rear differential bushing. If you ever done one of those, this, you can't get a socket in there, you can't get a wrench in there, so you have to make a slightly deeper angler. See, so I got a three quarter wrench there and just some other shit back there, which I should probably go through and take some more of this shit home. Hose clamp tool number two. 
it's not very exciting. Oh god, here we go. Oh god, I wonder what that was. Okay, let's see. Steering wheel puller kit. The old angle, torque angle gauge from back before they had torque wrenches that were digital. No lights. Snap off, power steering, puller installer. Now, here's the deal with these. I've had probably 20 different kits of these over the years, and I'm tired of fucking buying shit. So, about this, and it works every time. There's part of a Chrysler uh, pulley, puller, balancer puller. You got a Subaru wheel holder. This is for when your uh, boss's kids get drunk and sit on the roof of your Volkswagen and bend the sunroof in, so we have to build this little hook to go under the sunroof and put a 60 inch pry bar in it to pop it back up it's good stuff stuff there see we got a pilot bearing puller uh this is a pilot bearing puller there's another piece to this this is for pulling wiper blades off and i'm a firm believer that all vehicles come with extra pieces so this is where the extra pieces go there's really nothing spectacular in here besides pieces Rolled a Carter carburetor rebuild book, which I should probably take home. Got some extra throttle bodies and old headlamps and shit like that. Let's see electrical stuff. So here's a PCM rewiring kit from back in the Dodge days. And just some extra wiring, a machete blade, because you never know. Let's see what do we got. Here is a. Hmm. Here's a 10 watt UV. LED, which is really good for finding AC leaks and stuff. So you don't have to use that stupid halogen one with the stupid yellow glasses and stupid. We got uh, tumblers, fuses, relays, shit like that. I got a couple USB cables, just another soldering iron. <laughs> just a bunch of crap, basically. Light cane patches for the old back, got some welding gloves, transfer case shift motor for a WK2 Grand Cherokee. Um, these are like gold. These are Chrysler window switches. Just random shit. There's more stuff down there that I don't really care to pull out and show. Well, let's see, we got the uh, Mighty Vac. Mm. Couple drains. Got a bucket with wheels on it, which is really nice. And the uh, drain bucket here. So this, this is a Maxion headlamp. This is, now I've gone through like probably every single brand you can possibly get, including this Streamlight one here, which uses the Streamlight batteries like that one. Uh, but this one sucks. And I'm not gonna use this anymore. I'm gonna take that home and use that for camping. This one, these are the best. The batteries they come with are actually really good. I have another one of these, well actually, two of them at home. One of them's in my car and one of them's at home, the one that I recently just replaced this one with. And then we gotta have the uh, YouTube certified master technician. Gotta have some kid drawings, your uh, Freddy poster. Gotta have all that. And then uh, let's see what we got here. Micropod, it's Chrysler scan tool. Uh, ooh, air freshener, I need to hide that in my neighbor's toolbox while he's at lunch. Some of the uh, FEOA guys. Yeah, good stuff. So that pretty much sums it up. Let's see, what do we got over here? There's more, there's some planks, we're gonna make some more shelves out of my shot plants. Just gotta bring in winter time, it's getting cold outside, it froze. And then we gotta have your scooter for going out to get used cars. Um, exhaust hoses. Here's my 44 inch fan and my 30 inch fan which has the sprayers on it so I can put water through this while it's spraying to kind of cool everything down. Let's see. Pallets with wheels for setting subframes on when you're pulling engines and shit. Um, two quarter drums full of used oil, some snow tires, a bunch of scrap, 
and then uh, organic spacers. Got to have organic spacers. And scrap, scrap crap, more scrap crap, scrap, 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 scrap. Hi Brian, how's it going? I'm working on another scrap pile. Oh, you mean a Ford? It's... Oh, yes. oh good, good. Glad we're all on the same page here. This is good stuff. Well, we all know Ford means business according to the side here. Oh yeah, yeah, see we have uh, Ford means business. Motorcraft parts installed here. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, we come prepared. We're prepared for any contingency. Anything, anything you can throw at us, we can fix. A gazillion broken transmissions out of Subarus. Mm, oh look, here's an entire container full of bad Ford coils. Because, you know, Ford life. Unless it's a 91 to 96 Escort LX, then it's the uh, easiest car on the planet to work on. Let's see. I got a, this is a 10K lift, and this is a 12. That's where I do all the magic of uh, Mopar coming stuff. I not see anything I missed. Um, the transmissions and shit we take apart, take the bolts out, clean them, take them home, use them for extras. Got a shelf, little kid stool that helps, and we got seat, seat covers and floor mats. Well, these actually aren't. Well, they are floor mats, but they're not. Alright, well, that pretty much sums it up. Gotta have a trash can. Bye-bye. Oh,